Greetings, my esteemed viewers. Today we navigate the obstacle that is far too common amongst motorcycle riders, a punctured tire. But fear not, for we shall take down this obstacle with finesse and precision today. Let's get to it. Plugging a tire on the side of the road is a skill that every single motorcycle from novelists to master riders should know and be proficient at. Unless you ride tires with tubes in them, then this probably isn't the video for you. And this entire procedure can be done with the tire still on the motorcycle, albeit it might be a little more difficult on something like a Goldwing, which has the tire pretty enclosed. It still can be done. Now remember, safety first. You want it on a flat, hard surface, something that you can properly work from. Now, you don't want anyone to go on an unexpected adventure because of a wobbly bike, now do we? <laughs> now this toolkit is a commendium of solutions akin to a chemist's vials. It promises a restoration of our tire. In other words, this stuff right here is gonna fix it. Enough talk, let's get to it. Now you gotta find the puncture, and it's like finding a needle in a haystack or more like finding a nail in a pile of rubber. Aha! There it is. Like a tiny little vampire's bite on your tire's neck. But fear not, for soon we shall have the seal tighter than Dracula's coffin. Now to remove the foreign object, genuinely I like to have a flat blade screwdriver and a pair of pliers. If it's something like a screw that's a Phillips head, go ahead and unscrew it out of it. Okay. But I do carry a flathead screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers in my toolkit for this specific reason. Now sure, if the foreign body's still in there, you could use some slime. But where's the character building in that? If you're doing this with the tire still on the motorcycle, go ahead and park it in a way that it's easy to access this while it's still on the bike. And then if you leave your motorcycle in gear, it'll act like a parking brake. You don't want it rolling. Okay. Once you got the foreign object removed, Congrats, you're practically a surgeon. But now it's time to do manly things, put things in holes. So first we must widen the hole. Insert your tire reamer inside the hole and repeatedly push it in and pull it out for about 10 strokes. Now, quite frankly, that's more than enough for the average man, certainly enough for your average tire. Grab your tire plugs and your tire plug insertion tool. Now this part is much like threading a delicate fabric into the needle, except instead of doing a delicate fabric, we're using tough rubber that sticks to everything. Insert the plug into the tool where both halves are the same, then apply a generous amount of vulcanizing compound. I'm just going to rub it all over the tire plug. And now for the grand finale, inserting it inside the hole. And then I'm going to push it in to where about a half inch of each strip is sticking up. Now remember to push slowly. If you push it too fast, you might push one of the ends on the inside of the tire and you might possibly need another plug. But as you can see right here, this is about the perfect amount. We can look inside the tire. I'm sorry, I just can't do this. But we can look inside the tire and see that we get good penetration. And then we just need to get this handle out. So we're gonna pull up in a very quick fashion. So that way it is all still left inside there. With insertion complete, we undertake the final task of refinement, making it both elegant and functional alike. Fancy talk for we're gonna cut the excess off. The final chapter in this book is ensuring that it isn't leaking. You can do it the rudimentary way, which is my preferred method of spitting on it and checking for air bubbles. If you're a more refined classic gentleman, you can take a water bottle and put water on and check for bubbles that way. Now remember, technically this is temporary, you should go get a fix professionally, blah, 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 blah. Now you know how to do one of the most basic skills that every motorcyclist should know how to do. This is Octane Restorations. 
Thanks for watching.